Play City family, it is Bobby coming at you from my favorite place, the grocery store. And hi, I've lived in Florida now for two years and I'm kind of turning into a grumpy old man in respects to this arena, the middle aisles of the grocery store and the ingredients and the products and what they're doing to you and I, because they're not looking out for our best interest. All they care about is profits over people and I can prove that. I'm gonna walk around and show you some of my latest grumpings and things that make me mad when it comes to ingredients and products that are making us fat, sick, and nearly dead. But not dead, right? Because if you're dead, you're not a consumer and you can't spend any money. So less talking, more shopping, let's go. How many folks put one of these K-cups or one of these pods in your coffee maker at home for your cup of joe? I totally understand. It's convenient, it's quick, it's easy, you take it for the road. But I do not think most people think about what the water goes through to give you your cup of coffee because all of these pods have aluminum foil toppings and plastic bottoms. Well, that's a problem in my opinion because the water is just boiled 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's say it cools down a few degrees. 205F water going through aluminum and plastic into your mug, into your body. No, hex to the no, because you cannot tell me that hot liquid does not leach out some of the bad chemicals in here. What's in aluminum and plastic? Well, phthalates, endocrine disruptors, hormone disruptors, nanoparticles of plastic, and you're doing this on a regular basis. I know it's really convenient, but for K-cups and for pods, no, no, no. Actually, fun fact, the guy who invented K-cups he regrets it because he only thought people in the workplace would use it, but it turned out everyone used it and he's like, why did I do this? Why did I make a billion dollars? I regret it. So what do you do? You can still use K-cups in your, your makers at home, but not at this store. Other stores have eco-pods. They're made of 100% non-toxic paper that's non-chlorinated and non-bleach, and that's totally cool. Another option is go on Amazon. They make these stainless steel K-cups and you can fill it with your own coffee because I can promise you the quality of the coffee, if you're a coffee aficionado, in these pods are not very good. And how long has it been sitting in here? We don't know. And what happens to coffee, ground coffee? After it's been ground, the flavor goes downhill because the essential oils dry out. Well, if you can grind your own premium single origin coffee at home and put it in your own stainless steel K-cup and make it, you're winning all around. So I know these things are convenient, but please stop using them. I went to the beach the other day with Desi and Rose and I was the most pale guy on the beach and I was proud of that. I had my long sleeve UV shirt on. I had my Indiana Jones hat on. I had my SPF 30 minerals sunscreen, but there was a problem. I noticed a lot of people spraying their bodies and their kids body with this. It's sunscreen in the bottle. And that's a problem because look how the actual sunscreen comes out of the bottle. It's not with magic. It's with butane butane or propane yes propane the same stuff you use your grill to grill your food with that's bad news because those are kind of toxic and more importantly you can inhale them especially i see the kids they go stand here timmy and they go Shh. they're gonna breathe that into their lungs even more importantly the active ingredient nine times out of ten in sprays are chemical based like avobenzone and homosalate chemical based sunscreens are very, very discouraged for use in certain parts of the world like the EU. Chemical-based sunscreens absorb into your body. Chemical-based sunscreens are found in breast milk weeks later and they're known hormone disruptors, endocrine disruptors. So what do you do? Never, ever, 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 ever use chemical-based, use mineral-based sunscreens. I love uh, Badger. I love Think Sport. I love Babo. And even though they might make a couple of those in spray, it's not as effective as the lotion. They don't have those ones here. But mineral-based never absorb into your skin. They're usually made of zinc oxide and they're 100% non-toxic. So I know it's convenient to spray little Timmy and little Erica with all this stuff, but stop. Let's meander over to the supplement section. You guys have heard me say a million times, I don't really buy any uh, supplements and vitamins from the store, but if you buy a probiotic from the store, I highly recommend you check out Seed. I've talked about it forever. They're a longtime supporter of the channel, and this is the best probiotic on the market for kids or adults. And the, my promo code for the month of uh, July is 25% off your first order. The truth is for most probiotics, they never make it to your colon to deliver the payload of bacteria. They die in your tummy acids. But Seed is different. Seed is a pill within a pill. And the only 
thing that dies in your tummy is the outer capsule. And that outer capsule is actually made of pomegranate. Pomegranates have fiber. Fiber-rich foods feed your gut bacteria. But the inner capsule that has the 25 strains of custom bacteria make it to your colon, and they really help with bowel movements and skin health and immune health. And what I love too is they have the kids one too. This is for kids three to 17. Rose got on this as soon as she turned three. And as we know, a lot of kids might not have the best diet. It works for kids. And even though it's a powder, the powder has the bacteria and the bacteria are coated in a lipid that prevents it from dying in the tummy acid. So it makes it to the colon of your kids also. So if you're in the market for a probiotic or you use one, I highly re recommend checking out Seed. It's best in class and it works. And my link down below for this month gets you 25% off your first month supply, free shipping, flat rate shipping all around the world and 30 days risk free. It's best in class. Raise your hand if you grew up with vegetable oil in the kitchen a lot of people did and this is such bs marketing because on the front they put vegetables like tomatoes and cucumbers and garlic and onions none of those vegetables are in there uh, vegetable oil is always made of soy bean oil and this is blended with canola oil so this is not heart healthy the fact this heart healthy symbol on there is the biggest pay for play ever because soybean oil seeds and canola oil seeds are first of all grown roundup resistant so they're sprayed with roundup and the active ingredient in roundup glyphosate which is horrible for the environment and horrible for us but to get that oil into this bottle here it looks golden and healthy it requires so much processing refinement heat and Freddie Mercury, bum 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 bada bum bum, pressure, and a chemical called hexane. The hexane does something that really helps the bottom line. It gets 100% of the oil out of the canola seed and the soy, oh, go ahead, no worries. The hexane gets 100% of the oil out of the seeds of the canola and the soybean, and they say, don't worry, we know hexane is toxic, so we filter it out later on. BS, homie, don't play that game. So by the time the oil ends up in this bottle here, looking like a golden elixir from the gods, completely rancid, completely full of free radicals, which are the opposite of antioxidants. And because it's rancid, it has a smell. So they have to deodorize it. And that's what you're putting in there. So anytime a recipe, sweet or savory, calls for canola oil or vegetable oil, swap it with one of the best avocado oils. Primal Kitchen or way back their chosen foods. This is a great non-oxidated oil. That stuff is to be avoided. As if, my friends, it's not bad enough they're going after us with the ingredients and the food we're eating every day. They're going after our pets too. And actually, fun fact, I had a dog growing up. His name was Josh. He was a Bashan Frise and he lived to 19 years old. I loved him, he was a great dog, and we certainly did not feed him the pet food at the grocery store. Why, because I'm a snob? No, I'm an ingredients guy, and even back then I wasn't woke like I am now. I knew what was good for my dog and not good. And if you look at pretty much any dog food, let's just pick up this one. You wanna look for things made from whole cuts of animals, like chicken, beef, pork. And if you ever see meat byproducts or over in the dry food for uh, cats or dogs, if you see in dry food, animal fat, it's a generic term. It's a red flag. Your spidey senses should be buzzing because meat byproduct and animal fat fall under the category of 4D meat. The Ds stand for, wait, dead, diseased, dying, and disabled animals. And these animals can be roadkill, zoo animals, and the dog you take to the veterinary clinic to be put down can be in this food. And it's not prime cuts like the tenderloin and whatever. It's like lips and buttholes and bones and tendons and ligaments. If that's not bad enough, they oftentimes put filler ingredients in here. Look at this. This one has wheat flour and wheat gluten. Simple, cheap carbohydrate. Newsflash, dogs aren't really supposed to eat carbs. And if they're gonna eat carbs, they should be complex carbohydrates. Jeez, I wonder why dogs lately have been having the same diseases as man and woman, like heart disease and cancer. It's because of the food. They're eating the same diet as us. Now, this is not Bobby approved, but at least if I pick up this one, you don't see the 
animal meat. You see real meat like cod, chicken, fish, turkey, and liver. I really like to see liver and offal meat or organ meat in there because it's very nutritious. And the only complex carbohydrate in there is sweet potatoes. I don't even want to see feed that has like oats because dogs aren't supposed to eat grains in my opinion. So they don't really have a Bobby approved one here. I'll put a list of the Bobby approved ones down below. Ideally non-GMO or organic whole cuts of meat, none of the 4D meat, and no carbohydrates unless it's like a complex one like sweet potatoes. We got to look out for Fido and Mittens and my beloved Josh the Bichon Frise. All right, family, that is it for my happy place, the grocery store. Even though this video wasn't necessarily happy, it's pointing out the things that are wrong, and I always give you a better for you option. And in the grand scheme of things, right, we are making progress. There are more better for you options at the grocery store, but there's still a long way to go. But that is it from the grocery store. I leave you like I always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace.